The methods that teachers are using at Humber are really, really innovative and different than um, when speaking to friends or at different colleges. It's very book, book, um, textbook teaching. Um, I feel like at, um, at Humber they take a very innovative look at it and really give you the knowledge that was actually going on in the world right now. We're not five years behind. And I felt, honestly, that when a professor saw something you were good at, they pushed you to follow that because they knew you could have success in it. So that's a little bit why I chose Humber. Uh, time at Humber, two courses, really, sorry if I'm going too fast. I apologize. Uh, two, uh, two courses that really stood out for me. Um, first, the internet marketing. Um, everyone's on Facebook, everyone uses it, knows what they're doing, but really you don't, you, you don't understand what's, what it's really capable of. This course was extremely innovative and brought exactly what's going on in the real world right to the classroom. They taught you about how to use Twitter, not only to talk with your friends or find out where the party is, but how to use it for marketing and a business, uh, business uh, as aspect. Uh, blogs. I wrote a Toronto Maple Leafs blog that actually is still getting hits today. I still write it. Um, it, it, found, it, it, it optimized my search pro, uh, profile and gave me the opportunity to understand that. Facebook. Never be good enough at Facebook, so we learned that. And online advertising. I, I, I didn't follow it after school, but I do have a, an, I, an understanding of it and what the possibilities are. Now the one that really clicked with me was professional selling. Anyone that knows me, I'm a talker, I love discussing things with people, um, and this one really, really clicked for me. I could really see me, do, myself doing this out of school, which is the first time for me from high school to college. It was all just work until I did this course. I really saw how I could do this after school. I learned about um, a very important thing in sales is your FAV, your feature, advantage, value. So of course, you have a feature, and it's a simply what, the, what uh, let's say, a pair of goalie pads. The feature is the certain material it's made of. You talk about the advantage, so what this material is capable of, and then you put it in the shoes of the actual buyer and what the value is to them and how it's going to create a, a positive value. I also learned the art of persuasion, art of discussion, how to persuade someone by giving equal, equal things to both sides. And a main thing about it that really, really excited me was the job shadowing opportunity. This gave me an opportunity to follow someone within sales. Um, it's actually kind of funny. I went with Konica Minolta, who is a third tier um, competitor to Xerox. So I saw what was going on there, but uh, apparently I thought I should go with a better company. But it, it gave me the opportunity to, uh, to kind of see what was actually going on in the real world. So a day-to-day -day li uh, life for myself uh, as an account manager is I have to hit achieve sales targets each month. Um, I do this by selling Xerox products and solutions to different customers and different organizations and different verticals within uh, market segments. I, only, I also provide full market, uh, I'm not only a sales guy, so when you look at my position, there's a reason why I'm called an account manager. I don't simply sell you something and leave. Um, I take care of everything from the start to the beginning. One thing that really makes me feel good about my job is when I can assist someone getting to what they, where they want to bring their business. So if I can be along the way and help them get there, that's my goal. Um, yeah, so also, I mean, everyone hates the word, but cold calling, it exists. You have to knock on doors. You have to be out there on your feet getting new opportunities because that's how you grow your sales. You can't stay stagnant with your current client base. Zach knows what I'm talking about. You always got to be finding new opportunities because that's going to get you to the, uh, the top of your sales in your office, and that's where you want to be. Um, really, I mean, this one kind of fits in the thing. You build a relationship. You find fit, uh, fits for exactly what uh, customers need and uh, provide them with a solution. Um, I am also have to meet standards by Xerox by taking care of the customers to um, the way a Fortune 500 company would, um, which is very good because it, 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 you build your personal skills that way as well. Um, and also uh, identify any ways I can grow the business. Um, the owners of my, uh, the business are always looking for someone in the office that's coming back with a new opportunity. Oh yeah, and don't be scared of sales. The only reason you should be scared of sales is if you're scared of money. Seriously, <laughs> don't be scared of it. Uh, it might not be for some people, but if it fits, you can make a killing. And the opportunity to grow is, is right at your fingertips. So do not be scared of it. If you hear a sales job, go at it if that's where you, uh, if that's where you feel comfortable.